Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. So, we are going to be playing through the Modern Warfare campaign. And I'm probably going to call it Call of Duty 4, or COD 4. Because that's what I'm used to calling it too. I never really called it Modern Warfare. I don't know why. Uh, but I, I'm pretty excited to play this again. I Call of Duty 4 is one of my... Avery to Call of Duties to date, and it's also the first Call of Duty I played, so there's a lot of nostalgia, so pretty excited for it. Now I am playing this uh, a few weeks before, you know, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered come out, so I don't have access to the multiplayer yet, but that is definitely what I'm most excited for is the Mono Warfare Remastered multiplayer. I'm really hoping it's very similar to what it was because, I don't know, it's it's just the most fun to me. I, I prefer boots on the ground rather than, you know, the, the recent stuff they've been doing with like jetpacks and that stuff. So, hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. But for now, we're going to be playing the campaign. And I think the campaign is really good as well. I think it's one of the best. Or I think the Mono First series overall is, uh... It has probably the best, uh... Campaigns out of all the Call of Duties. But that's just my opinion. I, I, I enjoy the, the Infinity Ward campaigns a little bit more than Treyarch's. I don't know. They're both good, but I, I've i had more fun with the uh, Modern Warfare series. But anyway, we're going to be playing through uh, the Modern Warfare campaign. And hopefully it's uh, still good. It should be. I mean, there's probably not much that's changed about it. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. All right, I had to wait for a plane to fly over my house. <laughs> it's, uh, it's what sucks about living in the path of airplanes. You just hear them constantly. But we are going to go ahead and start the campaign. I have played the first, like, couple missions, the, uh, the FNG and the, the one on the boat, I forgot what it's called. I played those to get comfortable with the controls again because I've been playing a lot of Destiny this past month, so I had to get used to the uh, 60 FPS stuff and find my sensitivity and all that, and I think I found it, so... Yeah, other than that, I haven't played this game in a few years. I don't know how long it's been. But... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this, so... Start a new game. This will reset your current mission's progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good news first. The world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled Olasad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now, word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Soap. Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles for the table. Okay, but first I need to do that. Okay, we're good. So I've, I've played the uh, Infinite Warfare beta a little bit since that's out. And I found that 6 for a horizontal and 5 for a vertical sensitivity was really the best for me. Uh, 
And I'm trying to keep that the same across any Call of Duty game I play that uses that sensitivity system. Because I'd rather, you know, have one sensitivity to stick to rather than trying to get used to all different kinds. You know the drill. Go to station one and aim your rifle down range. Okay. Lovely. Now, shoot at the targets while firing from the hip. All right. Now aim your rifle down range. Now, shoot each target while aiming down the sights. Now I'm going to block the targets with a sheet of plywood. Bullets will penetrate thin, weak materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. I want you to shoot the targets through the wood. Good. Oops. Now I'm I think I missed that one. Pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can. And let's reload. Oh my... There's a... It's one of my Slow, bad Try habits. Again. I really need to stop the loading after like every kill. Oh god Drop damn it. Job, mate. Now go get a sidearm from the armory. I wasn't expecting that last uh... Good. Last now switch to your rifle. target. Now pull out your sidearm. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Using your knife is even faster than switching to your pistol. Knife the watermelon. Wait, which? All right, I need to switch that. Okay. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Captain Price wants to see you. Okay. Yeah. I also found that playing on default is easier. Also because I've been playing Destiny a lot, which uses circle for crouch. So... I'd rather, you know, try to keep... all my controls across games just very, very similar. Because it's really, it really sucks to just constantly be switching controls. Uh, you know, messes with your muscle memory and all that. Press options to check your objectives. Okay. Wait, wait. Your objective low indicator to locate the Captain Price. Complete the explosive weapons evaluation. What? Wait a minute. Never heard about that. Maybe it's over where Price is. I don't know. I've never had a tutorial with grenades, I, I don't think. Maybe it's this. Myth? Well, it seems Miss Soap here was kind enough to join us. Line up, ladies. Go. This isn't a bloody charity war. Get your asses in gear. Move. Jump over those obstacles. And then we... I... I honestly never knew this stuff is here. That's different. What's this? Ah. Demolitions, mate. Get in the safety pit, so. What's the safety pit? This. Now throw grenade yes. into windows two, three, and four. Uh, two, three, and four. Okay. Two. All right. I couldn't see the three because the brightness is so. Bad. Oh. Jeez. I'm not sure the arc. Ooh, grenade launcher. 
Now get back into the safety pit. Equip the grenade launcher. Fire at the wall with the number one on it. Zen. Notice it didn't explode. As you know, all grenade launchers have a minimum safe arming distance. Huh. Right. Now pop a grenade into windows five, six, and seven. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. All right, that's too high. Go. All right. Come back around and pick up some C4 off the table. Ooh, C4. Equip the C4, so. Down. There we go. Follow me. What? It seems my ex-wife was kind enough to donate her car to furthering your education, so. Place the C4 on the indicated spot. Now get a safe distance from the explosives. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Much improved. You know, I have a feeling your ex-wife didn't donate that. Oh well. Do we... Okay. Wow. I don't know if that's something new, or if that was here in the original game. Cause I never... I've never done this before. I've never done the explosive thing. I've never done that obstacle course. I mean, it could have been in the original game because I never actually went to my mission objectives and was like, oh, I got optional things here. Never did that in my life. That was interesting. It's the FNG, sir. Go easy on him, sir. It's his first day in the regiment. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How to Muppet like you pass selection. Soap, it's your turn for the CQB test. Everyone else head to observation. For this test, you'll have to run the cargo ship solo in less than 60 seconds. Gaz holds the current squadron record at 19 seconds. Good luck. Climb the ladder over there. Okay. Well, this might take it to a couple tries. I want to get pretty good time. Pick up that MP5 and four flashbangs. On my go, I want you to rope down to the deck and rush to position one. After that, you will storm Can down I... the stairs to position two. Then hit position three and four, following my precise instructions at each position. Grab the rope when you're ready. Okay, so... So I generally know what to do. The only thing is I gotta get my timing down correctly. And also I always get messed up at that last part. Uh, after position six, I think. When you have to sprint out of the building, I always run into the wall. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But let's go ahead and go, try go, this. Go. Hit the targets. Position two, go. Hit the targets. Flashbang through the door. Position four. Hit the targets. Position five. Go. Hit the targets. Six. Go. Flashbang through the door. Hit the targets. Final position. Go. Sprint to the finish. Ooh. Pretty good soap. But I've seen better. Damn. Come up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, uh, come over to the monitors for a debrief. I thought I had a pretty good time. Man, I, I, I felt really good about that run. Now let's try it a couple more times, we'll see what happens. Replace any flashbangs you used. Alright. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Position four! Hit the targets! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go. Through the door. Yeah, that, I knew that was gonna happen. That fucked me up. Sprint to the finish. All right, so that's enough. You'll do. Climb up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. I had a feeling that flashbang. That uh, that flashbang would mess me up. Go, go, go! Hit the targets. Position two, go. I was trying to save time. Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Position 4! Hit the targets! Position 5, go! Hit the targets! 6, go! Flashbang through the door! Hit the targets! 
Final position, go! Sprint to the finish. There we go. That's a new squadron record, so not bad at all. Climb up all right. if you want another go. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna beat 15-1. I'm good with that. I won't sit here all day trying to trying to beat that. That's probably the best I'll ever do. Alright, so I mean really it's just practice and you uh you learn exactly where to go and all that stuff. Where to go, where the enemies pop up. It's not that bad. Just practice, you know. Try to get your reactions up there. Gentlemen, the cargo ship mission is a go. Mm. Get yourself sorted out. Wheels up at 0200. Dismissed. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna play on veteran. No, we're not. We'll play on recruit. No. So, for Call of Duty, and really any FPS game, because I am used to first person shooters, I generally play on hardened or like the difficulty above normal unless it's the un, un, unless it's the hardest difficulty I don't like doing that because it just gets really frustrating and I don't want to sit here for like an hour trying to get through one segment because I keep dying it's it's not fun I don't like that so hardened is gives me a little bit of a challenge, but at the same time, it's not like frustrating, frustratingly hard. Like veteran, I'd be dying in like two shots, maybe two shots, probably one, <laughs> and that'll just you know piss me off. So I'd rather not get pissed off because that makes the videos even worse. So. I'm just gonna play on Harden because you know I'm used to Call of Duty and I can take a little bit of a challenge but not super challenge. And I don't want to I don't want it to be too easy either. So Harden is generally what I'm gonna play and what I play for most other FPS games. So here we go.